the making of a legend there are men and classes of men that stand above the common head the soldier the sailor and the shepherd not frequently the artist rarely rarely a still the clergyman the physician almost as a rule he is the flower of our civilization the practice of medicine is guided by the four principles of mastery individuality humanity and morality no wonder the members of the medical profession are held in the highest esteem in the eyes of the common man Doctors day symbolizes expression of gratitude by the patients towards the medical professionals in 1990 the indian medical association the world's largest non governmental organization proposed to the government of india that the 1st of july be declared as doctors day which was promptly accepted and officially notified The 1st of July was chosen as it happens to be the day of entrance and exit of one of the greatest personalities of our country who embodied the values of an ideal human being Dr Bidan Chandra Roy the brilliant academician eminent physician erudite scholar astute politician strict disciplinarian patriot to the core and one of the builders of modern india we will now embark on a journey into the life and time of bidan and trace the events which have led to the shaping of the personality of dr bidan chandra roy into a bharat ratna the precious jewel amongst indians bidan was born on the 1st of july 1882 to prakash chandra and agor kamini devi at bankipur in patna on the banks of the river ganges as a child bidan was greatly influenced by the simplicity discipline and piety of his parents bidan on completing the ba degree from patna college with honors in maths was offered the post of deputy magistrate by the lieutenant governor of bihar However, Bidan applied for admission to the Bengal Engineering College and the Calcutta Medical College and finally opted to go to medical school and left for Calcutta in June 1901. While at college, Principal Dr. Lucas mentored Bidan and instilled in him the spirit of sacrifice and service to his fellow men. which later on formed the basis of the code of moral conduct in Roy's professional life and that is a heart that never hardens a temper that never tires a touch that never hurts on completion of his graduation dr bidan wanted to pursue post graduate studies only at the saint bartholomew's hospital one of the oldest and most distinguished hospitals in the world founded in the year 1123 in 1909 dr roy set sail to london with only rupees 1200 being an asian dr roy was refused admission at the saint bartholomew's and it is only on his 30th attempt that dean dr shor gave in and offered him admission To meet his educational expenses, Dr. Roy worked as a nurse during his free time. Being intelligent, hard-working, persistent, determined and focused on his goal, Dr. Roy was able to accomplish the rare feat of becoming a member of the Royal College of Physicians and a fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons, a physician and a surgeon simultaneously. in May 1911 on his return to India in July 1911 set up practice which brought him into direct contact with the sufferings of the people their want and poverty 
and this led him to resolve to do everything in his power to help the needy which became the central passion of his life his kindness healing touch and capacity to nurse patients back to health is legendary dr roy was a physician to the mahatma and is seen with a group of reporters at the aga khan's palace in pune in 1943 briefing them on the status of gandhi's health while into his 21st day of fasting in 1948 while dr roy was attending on gandhi at delhi the bengal congress legislative party proposed dr roy as the leader to which gandhi remarked that he is duty bound to accept the decision and on 23rd january 1948 dr bidhan chandra roy was sworn in as the chief minister of west bengal by governor c rajagopalachari dr roy led west bengal for 14 long years as a chief minister many national and international leaders interacting with dr roy were amazed at his administrative capabilities futuristic thinking and charismatic popularity both as a people's chief minister and as a physician dr roy has the distinction of practicing the medical profession even unto the last day of his life by devoting one hour every day for the cause of poor patients and the profession as one of the architects of modern india dr roy strode like a colossus leaving behind footprints on the sands of time he was instrumental in establishing the jadavpur tb hospital chitranjan seva sadan iit karakpo rabindra bharati university kamala nehru hospital himalayan mountaineering institute he also founded three eminent cities durgapur kalyani and bidhanagar dr roy was ima president headquarters 1929 calcutta corporation alderman 1930 to 31 calcutta corporation mayor 1933 Vice Chancellor Calcutta University 1941 President Medical Council of India 1944 President Indian Science Congress 1957 In recognition of his illustrious medical career and extraordinary accomplishments as people's chief minister the president of India Babu Rajendra Prasad conferred the highest civilian award of our country the bharat ratna on dr bidhan chandra roy on the 4th of february 1961 on 7th of august 1961 dr roy while on an official visit to the white house the then president of the united states of america john fitzgerald kennedy who was aware of dr bc roy's reputation as a physician requested dr roy to examine him and opine for his back pain the american president communicated to dr roy regarding the betterment of his problem consequent to following his treatment plan truly a great moment of pride for every indian on the 1st of july 1962 dr roy attended to his patients in the morning looked into the affairs of the state gifted his house to be converted into a hospital to be named after his mother agor kamini devi and left for his heavenly abode having fruitfully completed his sojourn on this planet much like gautama buddha the enlightened one vedan also breathed his last on the same calendar date on which he was born When the sun goes below the horizon he is not set the heavens glow for a full hour after his departure and when a great and good man set the sky of the world is luminous long after he is out of sight such a man cannot die leaves behind him much of himself being dead he speaks